Aloha everybody and welcome to part 4 of Sonic Generations. We just saved Sky Sanctuary Zone, which has a whole bunch of trees with grapes in them. And uh, fun fact, if you've ever read the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 instruction manual, it states that Knuckles the Echidna likes grapes. It's something that's never been in the games themselves. There's never been a line of text saying this. Uh, we've never seen him munching on grapes in any cutscenes. But uh, that's something he likes. It's one of his favorite foods. So, uh, you know, it's a nice callback to have those grapes in those trees. If we want to get to the next set of levels, we have to open the boss gate. And so we have to go to all of these challenge acts that have opened up. As well as... Oh my god! It's Dr. Eggman's greatest creation, Sonic's robotic doppelganger, Metal Sonic. And apparently, if we defeat him, he will give us a Chaos Emerald. Uh, challenge accepted, Metal Sonic. I thought you were mute. How can you talk? Either way. <laughs> you face off with Metal Sonic in both the 3DS and the console versions. So first up is the 3DS version, where we have to race Metal Sonic to the goal ring here in Casino Night Zone, even though Metal Sonic wasn't in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, but whatever. <laughs> this is actually very similar to the Metal Sonic encounter from Sonic CD. It's a race, and Metal Sonic has a lot of the same abilities, like that bullshit right there, where if you're super ahead of Metal Sonic, he will get a huge burst of speed and lunge super far, super fast, and you want to get out of the way of that. And that bullshit right there! <laughs> When Metal Sonic is right ahead of you, if you catch up to him, he will turn on his electric force field. And if you get into any contact with Metal Sonic when that force field is on, he will damage you. So the gimmick here is you want to find all the right pathways that have a whole bunch of speed boosters on them so that you can accelerate a lot faster, go way past where Metal Sonic is going. He usually ch chooses all of the bad routes, you know? And I actually think it's better designed than the actual Sonic CD boss fight that it's, you know, paying homage to. I actually think this boss fight's pretty good, but, uh, I think the console boss fight with Metal Sonic is even better. Hey, we're back at Stardust Speedway, and unfortunately it looks like the bad future because the sky's looking rather ominous, and this place is looking a lot like Eggman Land, so uh, things aren't looking good, but uh, this is not a race. This is a proper boss fight with Metal Sonic. By the way, he's charging up for electricity right here. You can actually jump into Metal Sonic while he's charging that electricity up and interrupt his attack and damage him. Uh, I let him do it just so I could show off the move here in this Let's Play, but you could actually interrupt that and hit him really, really quickly. So that's fun. When Metal Sonic knocks all the lamp posts off, you gotta watch for the shadows on the road. You don't want to be under them when they land, but you don't want to slow down too much because the bridge is collapsing and then you'll fall into the bottomless pit. But, uh, yeah. It only takes four hits to defeat Metal Sonic here in this boss fight. Yeah, when the fight started up, he lunged at me, and you just have to jump over that, or jump on top of Metal Sonic when he's right up under you. And for his final move, he gets Ultra Super Hyper Mega Charged, and you can try and get behind him by climbing on top of the bridge, and then at the end, just deliver the final KABOOM to defeat Metal Sonic once and for all. Booyah! Pretty good boss fight. Very short, very easy, but it's one of the first boss fights in the game. It's just nice to have some cool Sonic CD representation, you know. By defeating Metal Sonic in the console version, you get a Chaos Emerald. Well, in the 3DS version, that's not why you fight Metal Sonic. In the 3DS version, you get Chaos Emeralds through special stages. How do you get special stages in the 3DS version? All you have to do is clear an entire zone. When you clear Act 1 and Act 2 of Green Hill, Casino Night, Mushroom Hill, whatever, the special stage opens up. You don't even need to collect 50 rings 
before or during when you finish these zones or anything. You just have to clear Act 1 and Act 2, and a special stage will open up so that you can attempt the Chaos Emerald run. And if this looks familiar, that's probably because you've played Sonic Heroes. The Chaos Emerald is going through the pipe, and you have to catch up to it before it reaches the end of the pipe, and by collecting all of these multicolored orbs, it fills up your boost gauge so that you can unleash Sonic's boost and go super, super fast. But you have to dodge all of the spiky bombs that will slow Sonic down, so don't run into those. Instead, run into the colored orbs, keep holding down that boost button, and, uh... This is actually way better implemented than the, the actual Sonic Heroes special stage. Because this is Sonic Heroes special stage, and, um... It's a lot better handled in Sonic Generations 3DS. The controls feel better. You don't get hung up on the ceiling or on the walls like you would in Sonic Heroes. And, uh, it's just pretty damn good. Pretty damn fun. It also has a ranking system, just like the special stages in Sonic Colors on the DS. So, yeah. Metal Sonic gave us the Purple Chaos Emerald, and that's why I did Special Stage 2 first instead of Special Stage 1, because Special Stage 2 happens to be the Purple Chaos Emerald. Anywho, folks, that was fun, but uh, now we need Boss Gate Keys in order to get to the Boss Gate Room and go to the next set of levels. The only way to get a key is to clear the Challenge Acts here throughout the Hub World. You need to clear one for each particular zone. One for Green Hill, one for Chemical Plant, one for Sky Sanctuary. First one to the finish wins! So, there are a lot of challenge acts, and you only have to do one per zone. Only one. It doesn't matter which one you do, either. Only one, and the energy surrounding the gate key will go away so that you can pick it up. Uh, I'm not going to be doing every single challenge act in the game. There are too many to count, you know. I, there are, like, uh, six per, like, classic, per modern, so there's probably, like, 12 per zone. Or it might be 10 or 12 per zone, I don't know. But a lot of challenge acts just for Green Hill, just for Chemical Plant, etc. So I'm doing all of the challenge acts that happen to involve all of Sonic's friends. Anything that involves Knuckles, Amy, uh, Tails, etc. Those are the challenge acts I'm going to be doing for the entirety of the game. So I'm doing two per zone. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm not going for a 100% run, as I said before, but I will be showing off all the minigames that happen to have Sonic's friends in them. With this first one, besides the cool gimmick of giant badniks that you have to bounce off their heads to springboard higher, you're just racing Knuckles to the goal ring, and just go by the S rank system on the top right, get to the goal before 1 minute 20, you'll be perfectly fine, you know. It's a race to the finish! With this minigame, way past fast, it's pretty much the exact same thing as with Knuckles. We have to race Tails to the goal ring. Nothing he does is really going to affect us, it's all just based on our time. If we make it to the goal in under 1 minute 30 seconds, we will crush Tails as well as get the S rank, so it doesn't really matter what Tails is doing. We're racing him, but he's not affecting us in any way, you know. Both the Knuckles and Tails minigames that I've just played have a remix by Cash Cash of a very popular Sonic R theme song. So if you ever wanted to hear dubstep everybody supersonic racing, <laughs> Sonic Generations got that for you. And the good news is, the original version of everybody supersonic racing, uh, that's in the game as well as an unlockable music track that you could put in any stage that you want. So uh, yeah, how about that? With this particular minigame, we're playing as Classic Sonic, and by pushing Y, Classic Tails appears right above us, and we use him to fly through the level. 
Now, he will get tired after a while, or at least I think he does, but it really takes a long time for that to happen, so... Again, I haven't played this minigame in a long time. I just assume he gets tired after a while. That's why I keep hopping off of him whenever I can. Uh, I might actually be completely wrong. Maybe he doesn't get tired, but that would be completely contrary to the other games in the series where Tails constantly gets tired from holding on to Sonic, but either way. You push Y to summon him, you jump into his arms, and you just keep mashing the jump button in order to fly all over the place, and you just want to navigate this level with Tails here, including this big bottomless pit area right here, so don't fall in! I like that Sonic Generations has a whole bunch of warning signs this time around. They actually have those cool orange Sonic death signs that tell you, hey, there's a bottomless pit here, so you might want to be careful. I don't know, I don't know. This level has a remix of Balloon Park from Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Balloon Park is one of the multiplayer stages in Sonic 3, and uh, I always loved the original track, and this remix is fantastic as well. Like I said, Sonic Generation celebrates pretty much everything, so it has lots of remixes, lots of musical callbacks to a whole bunch of things in the series. You know, whether it's Sonic R with everybody's Super Sonic Racing, and uh, now with Balloon Park and Sonic 3. Oh, it's just such a joy, such a joy to listen to all of these callbacks. It's quite incredible, if I do say so myself. I'll help you jump higher with my Pico Pico Hammer! Yeah. Only with the Y button, you can count on me! With this Chemical Plant minigame, we have to use Amy Rose to springboard Sonic up ahead. Now, I'm not really sure how this works. I think the idea is, Amy appears so suddenly, it spooks Sonic, and then she slams the ground so hard, it scares Sonic again so that he springboards super high. <laughs> you could easily screw up this motion because you have to push the Y button when the red meter goes into the light colored part. If it goes too much ahead, then Sonic doesn't go super high. If you push it too early, then Sonic doesn't go super high. So it's a bit of a timing thing, but it's the same timing every time you do this motion, so you'll get used to it real quick. But, uh, yeah. Again, I think the idea is that Amy is scaring Sonic super hard. <laughs> like, yeah, Amy, oh god! <laughs> I think that's what's happening. I don't think it's some weird ground pound effect where Sonic is flying high just because Amy is hitting the ground too hard. I don't know. Oh, by the way, Amy is voiced by Cindy Robinson. Has been since Sonic 3 Riders. I don't think I've mentioned that yet in any of these Let's Plays, but, uh... She's alright! I mean, I kind of prefer Lisa Ortiz and Jennifer Dulliard, but, uh, you know, she's got a very Minnie Mouse quality to her. She, uh, Amy Rose nowadays sounds very much like Minnie Mouse. Whoever finishes first wins! Something I missed when I went through Classic Sky Sanctuary is that it actually has the Marble Garden spinner contraptions in the level. So this minigame has you racing Amy to the goal, just like with Knuckles and Tails earlier, but the gimmick is you have to use the Marble Garden spinners in order to get through. And they're actually not that hard to get used to, honestly. Uh, the best thing is you can spin dash when you're on top of them, so they give you a big burst of speed. Like, if you're going somewhere and you want to change directions really quickly, all you have to do is turn Sonic to the left, spin dash, and then you'll be going in the opposite direction, like, really quickly. Really, really, really quickly. And uh, you just want to slow down when you're approaching spikes, because you don't want to head right into that. You're mostly levitating upwards when you're running on this thing, so just stop walking when you don't want to levitate. You know, spin dash when you want to turn on a dime. I don't really find this all that bad, honestly. Spin Dash is just great for getting your top speed and not for running into stuff, but I know a lot of people have trouble with this. I don't! I actually think this minigame is really, really fun once you get used to this. I like the Marble Garden spinners in this game. And booyah! With almost 30 seconds to spare until the S rank closed off. Oh yeah! <laughs> Anywho, folks, I still have one more mini game to do in Sky Sanctuary, and I'm going to be doing it in Part 5. See you then.